Monday. I know what day of the week it is today. Start of the week. What can I say? I've been doing pretty good with vlogging, but if you guys are new, my name is Zai. I'm 23 years old. I'm about to be 24. That's crazy. Literally crazy. I think that's why I've been getting my life together, for real. Like, really been like, okay, girl, we're done playing. You're not 18 anymore. But I'm 23. As y'all seen by the title, this is the Black Girl Introvert Diaries. I started because I was going through a breakup and I have no friends and I've always been an introvert all my life. I've been a homebody. I've been the weird girl. I've been the party pooper. I've been not like everybody else. I've been the one who's grown up when she was a kid, didn't really be a kid. So I just made this as relatability because honestly in my head I feel like 35. But, and I behave as if I'm 35, but I'm actually 23. And I feel like this is a comfort place and that's what I want it to be. So. I am just getting so prepared because I'm going to be going overtime at work soon, like basically at the end of the year. And I'm just thinking about it every day when I'm at work and I'm like, dang, I'm going to be here for like 10 hours every day. Because I think what I can do is 50 hours a week, they said. And I was just like, I think in the last vlog, I was like, why would you say that, girl? Why would you agree to that? And I'm like, girl, they only allow overtime one time. And I'm like, I could put the money towards things that I need to get done anyway. So I'm like, I'm going to just do it, get it done. <sighs> I'm just thinking about it now. Like, whew. But right now, we're going to worry about right now, girl. We doing our little one, two. We doing our little regular hours right now. We, we got time. But I just wanted to start off this vlog and today we're going to be meal prepping. So I'm making this thing that I seen on TikTok and I'm a TikTok whore. So like everything I do is from TikTok. Like I do have stuff saved on Instagram, but I just be on TikTok. So it's this ravioli, lasagna, quick meal. And I'm making a side salad with garlic toast. That's my dinner meal prep for like maybe the next five days. And I don't care to eat the same thing every day. Because if I did not meal prep, I probably would not eat. Okay? So I know a lot of people be like, oh, I can never eat a meal for more than two, three. Let's just, let's just have a thank you. Let's just have a great, how much can I say this? Let's just be grateful that I'm even eating. Like, that's why I meal prep and I usually will stretch it to six. I'm not going to lie. Because if not, I wouldn't eat. But that's what I'm going to meal prep. And I just want to give y'all prep. Hopefully, it shouldn't be hard. It should be pretty easy. And this week, my next few weeks are going to be chill, honestly. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Dusty Braids together for the next two weeks until the week of my birthday. Then I'm going to do like a little sewing moment. But until then, this is what I got. This is this is all I got. I don't know what else to say. But I'm going to go to the kitchen. It's going to be four. I pass out because I just want to go to sleep. I have to post content and I need to meal prep dinner and that's it for the day. Okay. So I'll see you in the kitchen. I'm going to stop trying to peace line every time I, I check out of this. So I'll see you in the kitchen.
I literally only have one minute on this SD card, so hopefully, you know, I don't talk too much. I barely ever sleep in my room. Like, I'm looking at myself, so I can see it. I barely be sleeping in my room. But I'm in my room. I'm trying to start sleeping in my room again. You know. Um, a little bit of PTSD. <laughs> but I'm in my bed and I'm about to read. It's like 8.30. Who is she? A bookworm again. And I low-key have this much left in the book. I told ya, I told ya I can read. But I'm gonna make like YouTube videos on like how I feel about each book. So I don't bore y'all too much if y'all don't care about the books. But hopefully I could end up with like half of this left and then finish the rest tomorrow and start my next book. Cause I'm trying to read four books this month. Eh, fingers crossed. All right, good night. <laughs> hey y'all, it's Tuesday. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little aggy, okay? I'm a little irritated, but I'm trying. I'm really trying to stop allowing things to get me so upset, especially like small things. So I'm just gonna lightly vent because I know it's not the worst things in the world, but I have to also learn like, don't get mad all of a sudden. Like I'll just get heated off situations so quick. Okay, so boom. I've been telling y'all in the last vlog, if you didn't see it, watch it after this one or watch that one first, that kind of makes more sense. Or start from episode one, whatever you choose to do because this is my life, okay? I've been vlogging consistently for 28 divided by four. I think this is 28, maybe seven months? Oh, seven months, that's weird. Okay, only because I usually give up on myself. So seven months is crazy, but I think I showed you on the last vlog like a little tiny hole in my ceiling because it was leaking basically from the apartment above. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm literally just swinging a knife around like that's normal. I promise I have a package in my hand. I have a package in my hand. That's why I have a knife. And I shouldn't even have a knife because I have a box cutter. But that's not the point. I'm going to put the knife down. That was crazy. I'm not going to lie. That was, that was sick. That's how I'm feeling now. But moving on. Um... So I have holes in my ceiling, in the kitchen, in the bathroom. My bathroom is currently swarmed with gnats. Why? Because the ceiling is open. Why is the ceiling still open? I'm unsure because I'm pretty sure last week I told you that a guy said he was coming the next day. Then they said, oh, he's on vacation. Now it's the next week. It's the middle of the week. No one has came here. And I feel like I constantly have to repeat myself. And I feel like that's what gets me annoyed because when they want their money, it's hey you didn't pay but when you have something going on like why do i have two holes in my ceiling in the kitchen in the bathroom and yesterday why did a spider was in my sink okay they got about to the end of the week because a spider in my kitchen sink and i'm terrified of bugs if y'all know me and bugs don't go together at all at all there was a spider in my kitchen and now the gnats are in my bathroom that's why i'm not in there because i'm pretty sure y'all will see a swarm of gnats on the video and that's literally pissed me off so what i did this morning i put like apple cider vinegar dish soap and what was it water and vinegar and like a tiny little thing i wanted to take some plastic cups from my job i'm gonna try to get it tomorrow because i don't have any but i want a bigger thing so that i could catch you know more and be like smell a lot more so they can go to it but i checked it and thankfully thankfully there's a handful in there but a lot of them was sitting on the top probably looking at their buddies in the water so they 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 was a little smart but i want to get like a bigger surface so that i can somewhat like fix the problem this is why i'm like i'm trying not to get as angry and just try to find certain solutions um and also i do have that blue light thing that y'all seen probably on tiktok or just in general where it it like makes the flies go to it they weren't on that as much as the little natural concoction but it got some of them but when i go in there and turn the lights on it's like a swarm because the it basically it's like all the woodwork and stuff so of course there's gonna be bugs and that so i'm just trying to usa because that's not the worst thing in the world we have an apartment we have shelter like girl it's okay i'm trying but that I made my own solution and the natural way was working more than that little blue light anyway. Also last night, also I meant to tell y'all, if y'all into reading and stuff, I made a Goodreads account where I'm going to put like my ratings and then keep y'all updated on what book I'm reading and how far I'm in it. So right now, currently I think I'm 84% 84 done with the book that I'm reading. And yeah, like I'm almost done. I think my goal is going to honestly be to read like 
I think a book a week right now. I think that's decent. I think I can do that. So maybe four books for September. I'm already almost done with book one. And I have been starting to want to read more than watch TV. That's how you know I'm changing. I'm changing in a whole lot of ways. Like I could go on a Vincent rant, but I don't want to go on a Vincent rant, but I might. But like I feel myself changing, especially because I'm turning 24 in like 15 days or something. I feel like that's what's making me be like, grow up, come on. You got this, it's time. That ziti, yes, um, that's not ziti. That ravioli thing, at on the list. I'm about to go back into my notion and start putting all the meals that I really F with because I need a directory of my menus because that is on the list as a quick, easy, simple, go-to meal, fire. I have zero complaints. Little side salad, little toast. But they call it the lazy lasagna and I'm with it. But yeah, I think that was everything like update wise. Um, I'm pretty sure. But here's the situation. I think in the last vlog or the one before that, I was blow drying my hair and I don't think I showed it, but my blow dryer just stopped working out of nowhere. My little brush wouldn't know what I was raving about. I'm just like, what? Like I was getting pissed off. Like I'd be having to take parts out because I'd be getting annoyed and angry quick. But it's given, like I just bought that one month ago. I plugged it in and didn't work. So I bought another one. I was on TikTok shop arguing with them, like, oh, it messed up, da da da. So, low key, I still had to pay for it because I had to pay for shipping. And when I bought it the first time, I didn't have to pay for shipping. So, what I'm about to do is finesse some stuff because that's one thing I will do is do some finessing. I'm about to put the broken one in this box and say that it was broken and send it back and get my money back. And now I'm gonna have two for the price of one. You shouldn't, like, y'all should have just sent me it for free. I wouldn't have to do all that. And it's technically not finessing because it's the same exact thing. And I don't play like that. And I'm about to go to Walmart too. When I go to Walmart, I need a new water bottle because I keep breaking it. But I need a new one because I'm not about to keep buying the same water bottle. And it is my fault because I keep dropping it on the floor at work. But I'm going to hopefully be able to finesse some things that I didn't have like a receipt for it. And I think they're fine with that. Like I think you get like three passes with your ID or something. But we're going to Walmart like next week. We're going to Audi at the end of the week because I'm running out of something. I think breakfast food or something and I gotta go early. I usually like to go like Monday or something but I'm gonna have to go Friday. And I honestly think that's all for the updates. Yeah. And honestly today I don't have much to do so I'm probably just gonna chill. Relax because I was a little irritated last night. I, 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 I've been having so much trouble sleeping. So I think that adds to my irritability. So when I do go to Walmart, I am gonna get the sleepy time tea. I can't avoid it no more. I don't know why I don't wanna pay, the, I don't wanna take the magnesium pill that I got. I should take that first maybe, see if that helps, but I'm just gonna get the sleepy time tea because I have consistently been drinking my tea in the morning and it's time to get the nighttime one. I literally, it's painfully hard for me to go to sleep. Like I can't stop thinking. So yeah, we gonna have to. I think I seen on McKenna vlog and then on TikTok I was doing some research, but I, I have to go to sleep. I think I stayed up last night until maybe 12 o'clock and I woke up at 5, so I'm not really feeling the day. Did an 8 hour shift. Uh, yeah, I need some rest for that. But I think that's everything. Um, I'm just a girl and I'm just dramatic and I'm just having a moment so I'm just gonna get off. I'm just gonna talk to you guys tomorrow. Be real honest with y'all. My defense against bugs is hairspray. I will hairspray the freak out of a bug. Like, I'm terrified. I don't like bugs. I don't like bugs. Currently, I'm in the bathroom. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure they have completely forgotten about my apartment because there's no way they, like, seriously never came back. Like, this is actually irritating me. If y'all see a gnat, please. I'm going through a lot. Okay. But, um,. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna show you, I feel like it's nasty, but this is why I said yesterday, like, learn how to not get that angry over situations, find solutions, because yesterday when I came in the bathroom, or was it this morning, damn near all the gnats is on that little blue light thingy, like the little bug thing that collects it, so I closed the door and then just left that light on so it attracts it to them, well, they're attracted to it, so that's what I did, I'm currently looking at a gnat, trying to keep my calm. But, um, I guess Monday, well, I'm going to contact them Tuesday, 
Okay, what's today? Wednesday? Because they don't answer anyway. I just I'm gonna contact them very shortly because I'm just close close the wall. I mean close the ceiling. Please stop stressing me out. But um my little concoction worked and that thing worked. But since it's open, it's like more key coming, but it's way less than what it was that day. So I'm grateful. But TikTok only sent me a refund. I'm like, I'll take it. Uh, so I can't get two blow dryers. My whole plan from yesterday out the drain. But I got my money back. So I feel like that's fair. I'm going to see if it even works. Because, let me get the scissors. <laughs> no. I'm just going to do this while I say it. Because I, I really don't want to do this. But I am sick and tired. Okay. So, that right there. No. Like, I'm just tired of all these fucking gnats. Okay. I know I mentioned on the vlog, like, I really want to work on my appearance. Hmm. Do I want to do this? I wish I had friends in real time. I really don't want to. I really wish I had friends in real time because I really don't know if I want to take my hero or not. Because I wouldn't even have a plan on what to do with it. I want to try that wig behind the... I'm so close. I want to try that wig behind the hairline situation. But it's like the convenience of waking up and doing absolutely nothing to your hair is unbeatable. Like, I don't know. That means I have to commit to it. I wouldn't be able to go to the library tomorrow. My hair looks nothing bad. I think it looks bad. Like, look at that. Yeah. Okay. I just want to keep it in so bad. No. Let me see. Okay, no. I know I shouldn't keep this in. I can't believe I'm just sitting here talking myself into keeping them in when I told myself at work, you talked about your appearance, you said you want to start looking, you know, presentable. I feel like these braids have did their job. I think I've had these braids in for about six weeks from the first hairstyle that I had. Just going to cut it. Okay, it's over. I got to take it out. It's over. It's over, and I feel so alone. This is the sadness I. <laughs> and McKenna might be posting if McKenna posts this up. Because I'm going to sit my little booty down and take my hair out. But that's it. Uh, it's over. I, it's over. Gotta wash my hair, take my hair out. I haven't seen my hair in like um, two months. Look at this. I'm gonna add half inch or inch. And I'm gonna have to cut something. Okay, I think that's it, honestly. You guys will see me back with my hair out. I'm probably gonna do what I gotta do for today. I don't have work tomorrow, but my work is gonna be doing my hair, editing my vlog, and. Probably meal prepping breakfast. Okay. Yeah. I'll talk to y'all later. Whenever. Tomorrow. Today. Later. I'll talk to y'all then. Now this is a girl that I haven't seen in I don't know how long. But my hair is completely out. It is 1.24 a.m. So the thing that happened was that I, I was so tired at like 8, 9 o'clock. I go to sleep. My neighbors made like a like a loud boom. Like they dropped something on the floor. And it woke me up. And then ever since then, I just binge watching YouTube. Trying to find new people to watch. Because McKenna did not post. So, I found this new girl. And I like her channel so far. Her name is Cameron Alexis. I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, I've been binge watching her moving vlog while I took my hair out. 
So honestly, I'm probably going to watch the episode that I'm going to watch. I mean, that I'm currently watching and then take my butt to bed because now I'm wide awake at one o'clock and I haven't been awake at one o'clock in how long. But she is back. And I can't wait to see how much it grew when I blow dry it because this is just me brushing it out. So, as always, I look electrocuted, but I'll see you tomorrow. Well, later today. I am low key getting tired now. So, I have to detangle my hair and condition it. I don't know why I'm talking so slow, but I literally have missed touching my hair. Really. Like, it's so freaking dry and so just. Oh my god. What did I do? What? But I promise y'all, I needed to come tell y'all. I hope y'all not gonna think I'm the weirdest person. But I be having the weirdest dreams of my life. So let me tell y'all before I forget. Because you know we be having a crazy dream and then you forget about it. Like, the later the day goes on. When I tell you I remember this dream so vividly. And I am so confused on why that was my dream. But let's just start off with a person that's not in my life was in my dream, right? So I'm like, what is he doing here? But it's not what y'all think at all. I don't even know what the dream was. So I'm pretty sure this person was using the restroom. And I like came out of the room and I seen like a mouse trap. And to my understanding, I seen a mouse on this trap. So I'm just like, oh my god, can you get this mouse? Because I'm scared of rodents and bugs. So they're like... I think I was like mad early because they sounded like tired. They're like, that's not a mouse, that's a raccoon. And I'm just like, I look back down and there is a raccoon in my house. But he wasn't on the mouse trap. He was like, his pole was only stuck to it. So then I like jump on the wall like Spider-Man type shit. Because <laughs> I'm just like, can you get it? Can you get it? And I'm screaming. And then I feel like he got it but then he left it dead and then i woke up <laughs> i'm just like what type of dream was that why am i dreaming about a raccoon thinking it was on a mouse trap like that was like i didn't even take anything like i swear I was looking up the side effects of magnesium glycinate because that's a vitamin that I have that I have not taken because I don't know why I'm so scared to take it but I've taken melatonin before but then as I was doing research it was like oh I had the craziest dreams nightmares when I took that and I'm like I didn't even take that so what type of dream was that for and then I forgot to show y'all but I'm gonna get it in a second I told you I was having trouble sleeping so I got the nighty night tea I think from traditional medicinals, 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 however you say that. I got the nighty night tea because it was like that knocked them out. And I didn't even take that either. So I'm like, that was a natural dream. Like, I don't understand. Like, what type of dream was that? <sighs> so yeah, that, that's honestly what I came to tell y'all. Y'all probably gonna be like, what the fuck? I'm literally like still deliriously like, what the hell was that? But yeah. It's Thursday. I don't know if I said it's Wednesday or Thursday, but my hair is so dry it hurts. I'm about to put my hair under, um, what do you call it? My little portable dryer thing for five minutes. And then we're going to see how much my hair grew. But yeah, let me just get this because it's stressing me out. Now, tell me what you said. You said that you would come again. You said that we would remain friends, but... You know that I do not depend on nothing or no one So why would you show up so uninvited? Just change my mind like that Please don't take this personal But you ain't shit And you ain't special till I made you so You better act like you know That I've been through worse to you
Everybody's like he's no item. Please don't like him. He don't wife him. He one night him. I never listen no. I should have figured though. All the shit you were spitting so unoriginal. But it was you, so I was with it. Then I tell you the truth, which we never did. We did it, then I swear that she can get it. to just my appearance and just trying to like elevate it why when i'm always looking for something no so minor hair clearly we're gonna get to it i had to wash the wig and figure out which wig and the wig i thought i had i did not have so we have a problem but i can't deal with that right now so i have this eyebrow henna if y'all watch my old videos or if y'all been watching me i used to do like a self-care motivation series and i learned how to do my own like brow tinting and I feel like I want my brows to look more darker a little bit. And everything with me is growth right now. I feel like turning 24 is having me just um, get my whole life together. Because I just, I don't know, I've just been into my parents lately. I'm going to be doing, getting new skincare products. Well, not new. Adding to my skincare routine. I did a whole bunch of research on what I want to have in my skincare routine. I'm really just trying to elevate. So... On today's mission, we're going to do some henna on the brows. Just to see how long it lasts too because I need to put tape on that. So just, no, I can put it in there. But um, yeah, I'm just into my appearance. I don't know. I'm changing. I don't know. I feel like my eyebrows being tinted gave. I do want to get back into my clusters, but we're going to slowly work way, our way back into that. Because basically what I was doing a couple months ago was every Saturday would be like my self-care day. So I would take the whole Saturday to do my lashes, brows, and nails. And I think I'm slowly getting back into that. But I definitely first want to start with skincare. So I will soon have all the skincare products that I've been researching. And I'm just trying to stay consistent. I'm about to be 24. I really want to change my life. <laughs> if you guys don't. I really just want my life to be a certain way and I feel like it has to start with discipline within yourself and then just also your appearance but I'm about to put this brow henna on so y'all know what I was doing and yeah I just feel a little discombobulated today I don't know I feel like I've woken up went back to sleep like four times since like 2 a.m. I think I talked to y'all I don't know what's really going on but I'm about to put this brow henna on so pray for me I really just want to put some permanent hair dye, but I don't, I haven't seen anybody say you can, you should do that. So I don't think I'm going to test that theory just yet. But let's see how long this lasts. I guess if it lasts a week, that's good because then I, then I could add it to like my self-care weekend. But let me just get this on, get my mirror and do it precisely. Because it can look a little crazy if it's all over the place. And I did get it off Amazon, so. Yeah. Listen, you was all that I've been thinking. Keep on running back to you Baby, I don't know why you wanna 
do me wrong See when I'm home, I'm all alone And you are always gone Boy, you know I really love you I can't deny I can't see how you could bring me to so many tears After all these years See my days are cold without you My days, yeah And my heart can't take no more I keep on such a lazy day i don't know what's going on i have been having a bit of a cycle so i feel like my mood is just all not mood i feel like i'm a little lethargic a little lazy find something to blame it on but i have like a lot of new things that i'm trying to incorporate but i'm trying to take my time because i tend to just jump into things so for sure i know what i get done with these when i get done with these dollar cheap vitamins I didn't notice that the B12 was only 50 mg's or a mcg's or whatever and the one at Walmart is 250 so I think I'm slacking on what I should have because this B12 is supposed to help convert food into energy and that's what I need like for real so when I get done with that I'm going to go to the Spring Valley B12 see how that does for me I have my whole skincare routine planned out what I want to do and I was on Amazon because I'm trying to find a lash serum because I feel like if my lashes just gave, I would feel, I would just be happy because my lashes fell out. I have a story time if y'all never seen it when I was younger. That's crazy. How? I'm about to be 24. I think I recorded that at 21. But my lashes fell out and they never came back. But they've been coming back. If you guys seen like the last vlogs, they've been coming back. But there's this serum on there on Amazon that's $20. I was like, absolutely not. Then I'm like, hold up, why is it, you know, the most popular item? I go to the reviews. They're showing that their lashes was growing in a month and had pictures. So I'm tempted to buy it. So when I run out of my e.l.f. brow lash serum, I'm going to get that. And I told y'all, I feel like I'm in this transitional period of, like, caring about my parents, caring about my inner hygiene, inner health, and not just, oh, I want to look cute on the outside. No, I want everything on the inside given to. I want internal health external beauty okay not just oh i look pretty my insides is eh, no so and then just to grow like my natural features of course i'm still gonna wear makeup wigs weaves anything but i do want to feel my utmost i want to feel my most beautiful in a natural state but i also want to enhance what i have and you know take care of that instead of just always throwing something on top of it so with my hair that's i haven't got to that yet okay I don't know. I currently have so many samples from my job of like hair products, so I've been using that. But when I run out, I'm going to deep dive, you know, on my natural hair routine. But that's probably not going to be for a minute because clearly I only take my hair out like once a month. So I'm pretty chill on that. My hair is growing. If y'all seen, I know my hair grew. Like, I don't even have to look back at videos because usually I'll be like, I don't think my hair grew. Like, my hair is like halfway to my bra strap, probably because I got to get my ends cut. So everything is going good like i feel like i'm growing i'm learning i want to get a signature scent like i have a lot of things in my head like it is like 
I just feel like I'm going into womanhood, like for real. Cause I feel like that's a part of what I like. That's a part of who I want to be. I feel like with healing and doing therapy, which I have in five minutes, so I need to actually go put my laundry on and come back up so I can do therapy. With doing therapy, I feel like I'm opening up space that used to be full of negative thoughts and just pessimisticness and now it's like I have so much open space to do things that I want to do and to just enhance myself so period I talk too much um tonight I'm gonna take that 99 tea I'm gonna get it real quick and show y'all but I do have to milk actually I'll get it after I have to milk prep breakfast I've been lazy I don't even know I have to check my to-do list but I'll come back to y'all when I'm milk prepping breakfast and show y'all the tea I got and we're gonna try it out tonight and then I'll let y'all know tomorrow if it worked or not but I gotta go, I gotta, it's 4.53, I gotta go, okay, okay, I'll be back. I never go grocery shopping on a Friday. People be going outside on Friday, like going out, and I'm going to a grocery store. This is my life, this is real. But I was running out of like, I think I was running out of breakfast or something, and I had to go at the end of the week instead of the beginning of the week, because I was originally gonna go on like Tuesday. But I don't know what I was running out of now i can't remember but i had to like switch my days up so we have an audi haul i spent my full budget a hundred dollars like a hundred and thirty three cents i want y'all to let me know do y'all think this is a good deal because this was eighteen dollars and i feel like i mean i'm not used to buying salmon so i'm like i don't know if that's a good price but this big old thing for eighteen dollars and then they had like the smaller pieces and it was like two small pieces and it was what, what was it i think it was like 13 dollars or something like 10 to 13 dollars and it was like what am i trying to say it was like this much like literally this much maybe a little more it was like this much and it was like 13 dollars and this was 18 so i'm like i feel like this makes more sense i don't know if that's a good price though what do y'all think let me know because i feel like that was good and then I got some chicken. I'm gonna split this in half. Fun fact. I feel like buying meat in bulk and also because I come from like large family and like always shopping for more than one person. Buying big and then putting it in freezer bags. So this is technically two meals for the price of $12. So it's like $6 each when it comes down to it for real. And heavy cream. I don't understand why the price of heavy cream is so much. This is damn near $6 and i was checking between walmart and aldi because low-key i'm just like i was trying to make sure these prices made sense and it was more at walmart and that was already like 5 30 so i'm like okay that's weird are they moving out or in i don't know next door yo they could probably hear me next door he's had like two different roommates and they're like 60 years old and people keep moving in and out i don't know what's going on but I love having this camera because I can see everything. I'll be mad nosy. They be having girls coming in here at like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., like back and forth. I'm like, ew. <laughs> okay, so I basically was like restocking on everything. So I got vanilla almond milk. I mainly use that for my pancake batter. I didn't know use, people use milk, but I feel like it makes it taste better. Regular original milk. I use this in replacement of regular milk, like for recipes. And then I seen a TikTok that was like, Oh, maybe you should check the price of, I mean, you should check the sugar levels on orange juice. I was like, wait till I get to Audi, I'm gonna check. So original orange juice is 22 grams of sugar. And this orange juice, which is light, is nine grams. So I'm like, hey, let's make better choices in our life. You know, certain things only. But I was digging like the mango with pineapple. I mean, that was so wrong. I'm digging like the orange juice with mango or orange juice with pineapple. But now, of course, when I go back, they don't have it this time. But I'm going to start getting, you know, both types of orange juice just to have variety because I always drink plain. Like I said, we're going to have a lot of restocking after this. So I got flour, sugar. I feel like that just made my face so dirt. My water bottle. Okay. Of course, I had to grab some apple cider donuts. And I don't know, last year I feel like their donuts wasn't hitting. So hopefully this year they're better. If not, I'm be sad. These grapes was a dollar something, like a dollar fifty. And it says candy hearts. So we're washing fruit. We haven't washed, we haven't had fresh fruit in so asparagus for dinner meal prep. Y'all know. I use these stevia packs in my teas because I try not to use sugar because I'm like, so just consume less sugar. 
like I'm not purposely like oh I'm on a diet or something but where I can make better choices I will try honey gram honey wait many isn't this called honey grams in real life mini bears i just got honey this time i was doing like eeny meeny money mo in the store for all the different types they had because i'm trying to learn to not buy multiple at the same time like this has 12 in it this because this can last me two weeks before i buy like three boxes of different ones for no reason so i'm trying to learn to just buy what i need and girl you can go back okay the store is always gonna be here. honey for my teas electrolyte mix i put in my water every morning parmesan cheese some of this stuff i'm like what did i need this for turkey and cheese my little sister is coming over i'm gonna do her hair tomorrow some white bread for her sandwich and then i don't know if i'm gonna end up giving that to her from my mom's house because i don't i don't know or should i eat sandwiches i only want sandwiches we'll see penne regate if that's how you say it a regat cream cheese potatoes quick because who got time to make real potatoes in this life not right now no i don't light brown sugar corn more potatoes honey barbecue sauce this time i only got two waters because i had all this stuff to carry and i'm like i got damn near milk orange juice and i have like six over there apple cider for the win hopefully it tastes good if not i'm gonna get my apple cider from target or see if walmart got some if that's not good and be tight but you should not be able to go wrong with apple cider Maybe donuts, but apple cider is apple cider. No, you could go wrong with apple cider. But hopefully it tastes good. That's literally everything I got. So that came out to $100. I feel like because I got the meats, that's why it was so high. And it kind of stressed me out because I need to go to Walmart next week. But we're just going to restock. We're going to put everything away. And then, I don't know. I just need to do a lot. And I feel like it's time to drink a Celsius because I feel like I have a lot to get done in a little bit of time. Because it's already 6 o'clock. And I, I usually try to eat at this time and change my lifestyle of like not staying up and eating later. Oh, where's the tea? Hold up. We need to take my mugs down and everything because your girl has been drinking her tea because your girl has been going through it a little bit. Y'all know every other week is something new. But the tea, I'm starting to, girl, I'm starting to drink my tea. Okay, so this was the tea I was telling y'all about. Okay, 99. Should I have got the one that was recommended? Yeah, but when I went on TikTok, they said this tea knocked them out. I was still up last night. I felt like maybe, you know what they say, like placebo effect? I'm like, the tea is supposed to put you to sleep, so I'm going to sleep. But I really could not fall asleep still. So I am going to continue to do it. It has 16, so I say two weeks. I'm going to just drink it, see how I feel at the end. If not, I'm going to just get that sleepy time tea. You know, that brand that people really be saying knock you out. Because lately, <sighs> your girl has not been able to sleep. But it does say to take an hour and a half before you're ready for bed. It's given that it just, like, calms you down. And no, I need you to knock me out. Like, that sounds actually insane. And I'm just gonna go. I'm delirious. Time to drink a Celsius. Every time with the peace sign, like, this is so bad. I need a new battery and everything. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. But we're gonna push through. We're gonna push through. I need to budget. I need, I'll take it later. I talk so much. <laughs>
So I completely forgot that I never closed out the video because yesterday your girl was going through it. If y'all seen the last vlog, I literally edited the entire vlog on Sunday after I did my little sister's hair. Did not record any of that because this time I was bragging on her. There's something on my camera. Okay. I was bragging on her last time, but she literally crying. I feel like her hair be a little too dry, so I did tell my mom to start oiling her hair more. She told me she does. I don't know what the thing is, but her hair needs like a lot of moisture. So I probably have to, I probably have to start doing her hair like one week less than what I'm doing now, like maybe four weeks instead of five. I think I put it like that because I really don't want her to be in pain when I do her hair, but I want her to be on a consistent schedule. So eventually, at some point, we could be calm, cool, and collected every time. But I understand what she feels like. So I try not to get upset. I tell y'all this because I try to practice how I'm going to parent with my little sister. And I, I really don't try to scream, yell, and do what I was done to me. Because that's why, I, like, with my hair, I'm trying to unlearn my trauma when it comes to my hair. Between people doing it, yelling, screaming, talking about it, like... I'm going to put y'all on the next vlog because I've been on TikTok and my mind been racing. I got ideas. But I'm going to put y'all on in the next one because y'all know I could talk. But yeah, last night I was not feeling it that much. But then I'm like, I'm not going to let what's bothering me stop me from putting my vlog up because I haven't missed a Sunday in almost five months. So if y'all seen it, I put it up late. But if y'all haven't, y'all should have seen it by now. If not, if y'all are new, go check that out after this one. And actually just catch up on everything because y'all got to understand where we at in this we on like 29 or 30 that's like seven six months of my life like that's crazy but i'm watching my sermon now so i'll put the sermon notes on the screen and by the way today is monday so this is recorded clearly the next day but i want to close it out so this is going to be the end of this vlog i don't remember what happened so we'll see when i edit but if you were new don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're returning thank you for always showing me love and i will see y'all in the next vlog y'all enjoy the rest of y'all week because I'm trying to.